Hi everyone, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Gwen and today we are back with some more of the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Uh, last time we made our way to Skingrad and um, we ran into a um, very, very paranoid elf who was like, meet me behind the chapel. And then we went behind the chapel and he's like, not right now. I'm like, okay. So we uh, came over here to the Skingrad Mages Guild, which is uh, where are we were originally coming. Um, to, you know, get our recommendation for the Mages Guild. So, let's stop in here at the Mages Guild. Um, now everyone is probably sleeping, so, uh... <sighs> I guess it just makes sense for us to go ahead and find a, a um... a bed and, uh... go to sleep ourselves. Um... This bed appears to be taken. Wait, let's let's, 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 let's get to know the people here. Uh, Dr Druja. We're not gonna wake them up. We're gonna, we're gonna let them sleep the night. It is, uh, we, w we won't have to wait long. Ooh, I like this. Got, like, this little area here, and then you've got the, um, the fireplace. Ooh, there's a door over here. Oh, <gasps> the Skingrad Mages Guild basement. Now, I I'm curious. Uh, well, it doesn't say, it doesn't say key required. Um, but it says that the key is used to get in there. If I did not have the key... Would I be able to get through there? So let's say I drop... You cannot remove quest items from your inventory. Really? Well, I guess it's... It, I'm glad that there's no weight to it then. Um... And there's nothing in here. See, now I kind of want to go to, uh... You know what I want to do? Oh. Yeah, I, I want to go... I want to see if I can, um... We're gonna go find the Fighters Guild. Because we're not a member of the Fighters Guild. So, so you know, we'll come back here... We'll come back here in the morning. Right now, uh, you know, in the, the dark of night, I want to find us the Fighters Guild to do a little bit of, you know, do a little bit of science here. We gotta run on over to the Fighters Guild, which I believe the map you said was around here. It's this building here. Not really any sign. It's Gingrad Fighters Guild. Oh! It's locked. Is there a back door? Uh, we've got a beggar here. No, there's no back entrance or anything. And, uh, with the, the very hard, uh, lock, I, I have very little faith that I would, uh, be able to, uh, to bust my way in at this time. Hmm. Because I, I, I want to know if I can, um... I want to know if I can, uh, go in, like, break my way into their basement. Or if that is like, nope, that's only for guild members, and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, alright, so, you know, I, I, I don't want to have to open every door. I mean, I should, just for exploration's sake. Um, but, um, oh, that's cool. It's way too bright for, like, as a window, it's way too bright for how bright it is outside. But I, I like to, I'm just gonna, you know, explain that away as, it's magic, right? We're in the Mages Guild, so that's, that's, that's explaining the, the light. I kind of like this. I like all the fireplaces. Wait. There are... Wait, how many fireplaces are in are in here? We got two confirmed. I, I need to know how many... Um, I need to know how many chimneys. Okay, the living quarters are up here. Oh, everyone's waking up. I guess. What time is it? Oh, it's 5 a.m. Alright, so... Oh... I will leave you to be, uh, and I'll t and I'll take your bed. Uh, I guess I don't really need to rest if it's already uh, morning. Oh yeah, I guess if it's already morning. But but, but okay, so let me get this straight. Buddy woke up. Uh, so who who have we got here? We've got um, v Vij the the cautious, and uh, Adrian Beren. Aw, that's cute. <laughs> All right. Uh, Wait, wait, is there another fireplace in here? No. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just, uh... I'm just rummaging, I'm just going through your rooms. But, hey, I'm part of your guild, so I, and I agreed I would not, I would not thieve from you. There shall be no thieving on my part. Of you. Um... Oh. The bed's kind of, uh, what do we call it, kitty-cornered? What's this on the ground? Crumpled piece of paper. I guess that's a common thing. We, we saw that earlier in the, the playthrough. There was a thing that I was like, Oh, that's a quest item! But I guess... I guess desks frequently have uh, crumpled pieces of paper. 
All right, so it appears that we've only got two. Oh, um, I mean, I'm not. I'm not technically stealing it, right? Um, uh, could I at least back down? All right, I, I guess we'll. I'll re we'll, we'll, we'll get, you know, we've we've been questing for a long time. We've been running. Let's at least get an hour of rest. There we go. We're up. It's the next morning. Actually, the light in here does seem a bit different. Hi, how's it going? Hello, guildmate. Sup? You want me? You sure? I'm Vigga. I'm Mage's Guild, but I don't train or anything. Wait, you're Vigga? But you don't train or anything. Does everyone give you a hard time too? For like not being qual- or, or do you actually know what you're doing, you just don't train? You're like, I have a basic competency? And that's where I like to be. I like to I like to keep myself at just adequate. <laughs> um, Glarthier. Who's Gl oh? That's the um, that's the name of the the elf we met the, the other night. Yeah, well, you know I'm kind of curious. What, what what can you tell me about Glarthier? I don't mean to gossip, but he is more than a bit strange. However, he's always been tolerated as the town eccentric. Um, I'm here for a recommendation. Who do, who do I need to talk to uh, about that? Adrienne is in charge. You'll need to speak to her about it if you can tear her away from her latest book. Um, what can you tell? I want to know about you. Uh, okay, let, let let's go through all the all these things. We're we're new in town. Let's get all the information we can. Between the two of them, Borisian and Gaspar have mastered nearly every type of spell there is. You'd be wise to go see them if you can. Oh, okay, interesting. I hear a new associate came to Tikius' aid recently. Something about an old enemy of his storming into town. Oh, that was, um... Oh, crap. Co was Coral? That, okay, yeah, that, he's referring to uh, the, the quest that we, uh... We worked on. I like that. I like that. That's a nice um, touch that they they acknowledge things that have happened in the world that you've uh, you've changed. So it shows like um, you know, along with like the the characters' schedules and stuff of like that. There's also like uh, an acknowledgement of the the world changing around you. Uh, and Morrowind had a little bit of that with uh, you know after after you like beat the main game or based off of your how far you were in a faction, there'd be a little bit, but. Um, Generally, yeah, there wasn't a whole lot, but like, yeah, as as we've even seen, as we were walking around, uh, in you know, in the past, just just random conversations on the street, people have brought up stuff that we've done. So I kind of like that. That's that's a that's a cool addition. It makes the world feel a bit more alive. Uh, what can you tell me about Skingrad? Well, it's a bit rugged. Nothing like the Arcane University. Have to go to the Imperial City to buy anything, but it's good enough, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, and, um, all right, well, I guess, uh, I'll go talk to, um, uh, Ariane, I think you said the name, uh, thanks, Vega, for the information. Goodbye. Bye. I trust you have a good reason for interrupting me. Ah, okay, yep. Uh, I I'm here for a recommendation. I'm curious if you could, uh, do, do, do me that favor. Or, no, for, sorry, Get, tell me what favor I need to do for you for, before you do that for me. I'm afraid I haven't given it much thought. I'm rather busy, you understand. My research occupies nearly all of my time. Now that I think about it, I do have a small problem concerning Erthor. He's one of the guild mages here. Think you can do something about it? <laughs> think you can be a bit more specific before I agree? It's like, uh, yes, yes, I will do it. All right, I need you to slit his throat in his sleep. It's like, whoa, okay, chill. <laughs> Um, no, I changed my mind. It's like, too bad you've already got the quest. It's in your journal. You can't remove it. Okay. Yeah, okay, sure, I'll do it. I, I, I mean, I need that recommendation. Excellent. I just don't have the time to search for him again, but I do need to consult him about some notes he borrowed. You might want to ask around and see if anyone can be of some help. Let me know when he's back, and you'll have your recommendation. I feel like there's there's missing dialogue there. Like she doesn't actually tell you what the problem is. She's just like, uh, I just need some help concerning a guild mage. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, go ask, like, just go ask where he is. Oh, oh, I, I, I'm, I guess I'm supposed to infer that uh, the problem is that he's missing. Okay. Uh, what well, can you tell me about Earthor? So I, you know, I have something more to go on. 
He's... well, he's an interesting fellow. Salinus Vicinus can tell you more about him if you wish to know. Salinus should be around here somewhere. Talk to him if you'd like to know more about Earthor. Salinus. Okay, I'll go talk to Salinus. Um, you know what? We... <sighs> Let's go through these. Uh, I've been skip uh, skipping out on dialogue a little bit uh, lately, you know, because I'm like, oh yeah, it's it's rumors again. Woo! But okay, let, let's we, we've got the head of the guild here in front of us. Let's slow things down. Let's push the break. Let's let's savor the game here. Let's um let's get her to talk to us about some things. It's been the home of the Mages Guild for the longest time. You should see the library they have there. It's the only place worth visiting in the Imperial City, if you ask me. I only make the trip if I can't find a specific book here. It's the only place worth visiting the Imperial City. Sadly, that's, that's, uh, that was my experience, but, uh, eh. Uh, Mages Guild. There's at least one person in every guild hall who offers spells. Check at every hall to make sure you don't miss any. Gotta catch them all. Poke spells? Yeah, no. <laughs> The Mages Guild has made more than a few enemies since necromancy was banned. And, uh, Skingrad, what can you tell me about that? That place that, that we are in. So, this place. What? You want a tour? Can't you see I have a lot on my mind? Go bother a beggar or guard. They stand around and chatter all day. I like to think that time is not frozen and Buddy's just sitting there waiting. Um. Go ahead. All right, so we already start off at 62 with her. Um, let's, uh, I, I do, oh, wait. Let's see if the, the name drops. Yep. Um, I mean, it, it, it is nice to have everything sort of in its own little thing, but I feel like having the disposition number somewhere on the screen uh, would be a nice um, reference uh, when you start to talk to somebody. So that way they're at a glance, you can be like, okay, um, do I want to butter them up before talking about some things or do I want to, you know, do I have to click on here? All right. All right. Let's let's work up um, our speech craft a little bit. You most impressive. Seventy nine disposition max. That works for me. Uh, I'm curious if you if you're any friendlier or is that eighty that magical number? What? Yeah, it's uh, it, it's possible that she'll she'll never be never give me something different. But I, I was just curious. All right. Have Earth or see me when he gets back, associate. Sure. Um, uh, uh, Solivus uh, or. Uh, Salivius, whatever the guy's name was. All right, so let's uh, find some life. All right, so we're gonna go downstairs and find some life. Um, we've got one person over there. Your sneak skill has increased. Yeah. Um, you're not so so Salivius or whatever their name is. What? Who are you? Ah, oh, who cares? I'm Druya. You want something? Or are you just practicing your Cyrodiilic? Uh, I'm just practicing, honestly. <laughs> that's that's the only reason I'm here, is just uh, to chit-chat and talk, but uh, I do see that you sell spells, and I may be interested in that, but first, yes. let's become best friends! Goodness, what can I say? I'm having a hard time reading the Argonian's face. Really? Blow away with me. I doubt it. Your speechcraft skill increased. So you say. Alright, 78 maxed. Let's Only see what spells you've got. Goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? Entropic touch. Or entropic. Entropic? Entro uh, whatever. Uh, burning touch. I don't really want... Um, I'm not really looking for uh, touch spells, but... Uh, spark... Remote manipulation. I mean, getting a telekinesis spell might actually be, um, might be useful at, at range, right? Like, I could, uh, like, steal things, like, stay behind cover and then just have things, like, fly over to me. Um, so, like, remo remo uh, remote manipulation might be good. Do I actually already have that? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna check my sheet already, uh, or already, first. Now, actually, now that I think about it, do I need to keep doubles of some of these spells? Like, do I need minor when I have major? I mean, if I maybe I want something that's just got a a, a lower cost, but um, so it does seem that I don't have uh, 
the uh, the, the the telekinesis. Well, so I hope I can help. Uh, I'm I'm sure you can. We're gonna go ahead and Let's grab the telekinesis business. so I can play around with that a little bit. Uh, remote manipulation. Uh, oh, wait, 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 forgot to haggle here. Now let's, uh, um, I don't really, wait, actually, I, I don't notice any difference in price, do I? Oh yeah, there's a little bit, yeah, okay. It's, it, it is a difference. Can I get a, bit, a little, bit, little bit lower? Remote manipulation. Nice. A pleasure to serve you. Thank you, Drea. Uh, what can you tell me about Earthor? I'm supposed to talk to somebody, but I have no idea where they went. Salivius or something? I haven't seen him in quite some time, but then, this isn't the first time he's been away, so I wasn't really that concerned. Oh. Alright, well, uh, thanks, Drea. Be seeing you. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll follow the quest marker, because, hey, I got no other lead! Um, so I've got a green marker telling me to go... Over there, because I'm guessing that's where this Salivius is. Because the way she was talking led me to believe that, you know, that this this character, this guy, this person that I need to talk to, um, would be right there in, um... Oh, Hammer and Tongs is closed? Darn, okay, I guess I'll come back. I guess it's too early? What time is it? 7.30. Okay. Um... So I'm guessing... A little bird told me that you've been asking around town about Glarther, a resident eccentric. I'd like to know why. Um... Um... He asked me to help him out? I mean, that's just the honest answer. Let me give you some advice. Glarther is crazy. So far, harmless crazy. But I keep an eye on him because it's my job to. You don't want to get involved with him. I don't care how much he's paying you, it isn't worth it. Like I said, he's crazy. Since you're courteous enough to tell the truth, I'll do the same by trusting you to talk to a guard if he asks you to do anything strange. Um, okay. Interesting. That's, uh, an interesting development. Okay, so now, uh, so now, based on how this this quest is going, I know he's going to ask me something, right? Oh, yeah, we're supposed to meet him by the, the chapel, and he's going to ask me to do something. So I'm like, uh, okay. But yeah, like, the, the way the, the dialogue was set up was, like, leading me to believe that... I've got the wrong quest activated, don't I? Yep. It's King Grad recommendation. <laughs> Darn it! Um, so now, okay, I, I've got, I've got to plan ahead. I have to think ahead about what uh, I'm going to do when he inevitably asks me to do something crazy. Because you know it's going to happen. So, do I, do I go tell a guard? Because, like, let's be honest, Alexis is not a big fan of the guards. Um, but at the same time, if Buddy's like, I want you to kill people, then I, I'll be kind of like, well, you know... Um, that, that's, that's also, that's, that's not cool. Um, so, oh, maybe it was in the Mages Guild. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm a dumb, I am a, wait. Are you gonna be on the door? Hello, associate. Wait, what? I should speak with the other guild mages to learn his whereabouts. Okay, so I talked to one, but I need to talk to the others now. Oh, okay, living quarters. Okay. This is the basement. And the living quarters are up here. Okay. I hope this is important, Associate. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing your business here. Well met, Guild. Oh, mate. you! Where did you come associate? from? Yeah, I do! I hear you got quite a task from Adriana. Sure. Yeah, I need to know about this uh, Earthor fella, person, guy. A nice enough guy, I suppose, but there was that awful scamp incident last year. That's when Adriana told him he needed to practice somewhere else. Somewhere else. Meaning somewhere far away. So he settled down in Bleak Flats Cave, did all his work there, and came back to town twice a week to check in. Hasn't been around lately, though. Uh-oh, I, I see where this is going. 
Uh, they're sending me to a dungeon, and Buddy's probably summoned some horrible, horrible things, and then it, he himself died. Bleak Flats Cave. Oh dear, I just can't seem to remember where that is. What a shame. Really? I, okay, I don't know if it's. Hmm. I, I'm suspicious of you, buddy. Um. Take your time. I'm. I'm curious. That's just talk. All right, max you out. Let's see if you got anything else to say. Oh dear. No. Doesn't know where Bleak F Flats Cave is. But I don't know the, the 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 delivery, like the way he said it. I'm just like, I don't know, man. I'm here to help if you need me. Uh, you. You're here about that recommendation, I presume. I'll need to speak with Urthor before I write it. No, I'm actually curious about if you know where. Um, no, you don't know where the cave is. Wait, you do sell spells Can I though. Interest you in some of my fine wares? Ooh, disintegrate armor. Okay, yeah, I, I'm looking at the prices of the spells and stuff, I'm like, Ah, uh, yes, I, I see, yes, you are the head of this, uh, this branch of the guild. Uh, lightning ball... Wait. Light, uh, shock damage, two points, in 15 feet for two seconds on target. Oh, yeah, so that, that has, um, that has a blast radius to it. Oh, yeah, that, those are, those are, those are cool. Um, Withering Bolt. Alright, I can't buy your spells yet, but... who I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm look, I'm looking forward to when I, I, I can buy some of your spells, because I'm like, looking at some of these, I'm like, yeah! Um, alright, I guess I'll go ask around about where this How cave could be. See me when he gets back, associate. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um... Alright, I don't know where the, the cave is. Uh, maybe, um... Well met! Guildmate. Maybe our, our Argonian friend over somewhere can um, can lend us uh, lend us a hand with uh, the location of this cave. Good day, Drea. Uh, do, yeah, do you know where Bleak uh, Bleak Flats Cave is? It's just northwest of Skingrad. Here, see it on the map. That's where Urthor wound up after Adrian told him he couldn't practice in the Guild Hall anymore. She probably doesn't even remember that. You might want to make sure she remembers, especially the part about it being her idea. Um, okay. Uh, thanks. Good luck finding Urthor. Uh, I think we're, we're heading out now? Wait, why is... The, why is the marker in here? Oh, oh, okay, okay, I've got to go check with- wait, I've got to go check with you first, right? Okay. Thanks, game. You're here about that recommend- Blah, 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 Bleak Flats Cave. Oh, I do remember telling him to go there. Mm. Well, we'll just have to do something about that, won't we? By we, I mean you, of course. I have something that may help. It's a basic fireball spell, in case you need to defend yourself. I'll be here when you get back. Good luck. Uh, now we started off with one. Weak fireball added. I was gonna say, we started off with, um, a, a, a fire spell. You know, flare. Uh, fire damage, six points on target. Um, and then we got flash bolt, which was 20 points on target. Uh, where's our weak fireball? Five points in five feet for three seconds on target. So this is 15 damage over, uh, over some time, but it's got a bit of a blast radius. Um, I want to try it. We're, we're we're gonna try out this this new spell. Uh, I do like that each of the um, I do like that each of the uh, why did I go all the way around in a circle? I could have just come straight down here. Um, that each of the uh, the the mages guilds give you a different spell. It's uh it's 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 kind of cool. Like it, it, it uh, by by doing all the recommendations, you're also getting um, you know a small. I don't want to say, wouldn't say library, but you know you're getting a small collection of, uh, you're getting equipped, like you you're learning things. You, you, there's, there's yeah, it's cool. I like that. All right, so we are going to head on out, um, over towards the cave, and uh, I, I've got a, 
Okay, where are we at? Huh. This is not the way we came in, is it? No, this is... This is the opposite gate. Other side. Huh, I like it. Um, okay. Once we get out of, uh... Once we get away from civilization a bit, um... Because I don't want to accidentally hit anyone with a fireball. Actually, yeah, because I want to be able to see the, the blast radius on this thing right now. Okay, it's it's not that uh, it's a, it's a fairly small blast radius, but it'll do. Yeah, I like it. All right, onward to Bleak Falls Cave. I think was the name. I've already forgotten the name. It's fine. Oh, okay, there we go. I see it on the map already. Yeah, right there. Bleak Flats Cave. That's what it's called. Bleak Flats. Um, now I should probably... Uh, I got a... I got a... Comment. Um... Well, to you guys, it'll be like several videos back. Uh, but stating that my, um... My, uh, marksman skill is falling behind, which is true. It's only at 21s. And what's my destruction at? 47. Yeah, I should probably work on my, my arrowing skills. As much as I want to play with, uh, the new fireball, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll give it one shot and then... Oh, come on. We know what that's, we know what that's going to do. Okay. I'll equip the bow. I don't want my marksman to fall, uh, too far behind. Uh, especially because I, I could see that being a, uh, a, a decent, uh, backup weapon that I'll need to sort of fall back on. Um, you know, when I run out of spells and I need to start, I, I need to keep kiting people and stuff like that, so. Okay, we are here at Bleak Flats Cave. Let's do some dungeon diving! Uh, what am I seeing? That looks like a zombie. Have we seen zombies before? I, I I want to say we did in the Imperial du Dungeon, but maybe I'm fabricating the memory? Yeah, because that doesn't really look too familiar. Okay, I think it's safe. Wait a minute. The, um, the quest marker. Okay, it's- is it further in? Cuz I'm like, okay, uh, if the marker was pointing at the zombie, I was gonna be like, <gasps> Oh no! It's, uh... It's, uh, it's Buddy that we came here to find. Uh, but wait, zombie, that would, uh, if that's not just a, some leveled enemy, then that would imply necromancy? Right? Oh crap. Okay. The damage over time effect is nice, though. I mean, it does less damage overall. It would be better just to just do the damage straight up front, but... Whatever. A deranged zombie. There we go. Now, this one's not uh, too much trouble. Good practice. Holy crap! I, I wanted to see if uh, maybe the zombies were more susceptible to fire. Yeah, I should probably do it. Oh! I thought that was gonna be it! Dang. Your marksman skill increased about time! Look how many arrows I put into this stupid thing! Holy crap! Deranged zombie. Rip in peace. Uh, bone meal. Iron arrow. Wait a second. Something just occurred to me. Since the game... Something just occurred to me. Since the game actually cycles enemies out, like, you only have enemies for so long and then they're replaced with other enemies. Like, it doesn't keep low-level enemies in, 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 in anymore. Doesn't that mean that technically, 
ingredients you get from, um, lower level enemies like imps and crap, um, eventually you can't get those ingredients anymore? Because your literal source of those ingredients is gone. Now I'm guessing some alchemy shops would still sell it, so I, I guess, yeah, that's how they get around it. But that means you have to, you have to start buying all your ingredients. Uh, man, that, that I, th I think that that's yeah. That's I think I mentioned that er earlier in the, the playthrough. If, if I could make one change, like if it had to have this leveling system, if, if if I could just make one simple change to make the game a little bit more palatable, it would be to keep low-level enemies in the game rather than just removing them. Um. Okay, so. Now I'm tr I, I, mm, I I'm trying to guess right now. I'm I'm in, I'm in my head. I'm like, okay. Now did Buddy? Uh, oh yeah, we've got a zombie over there at least. A zombie down there. Do these um? Do these show up as life? All right. So zombies uh, are detected as life, even though they are unlife. Um. I don't know why I was coming back this way to, 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 I was like, I need to go check over here if there's any zombies. I'm like, I'm literally using a spell that detects, like, detects zombies. Oh, there's another little side passage over there, too. Okay. Um. Well, we, I, I, I feel like we kind of have to deal with these. Um, that's on touch. I don't want to. I, I kind of feel like the weak fireball is just overall a better spell than like shocking touch. Like the touch spell, it's like 12 points for 10 points of damage, but you have to get up right up close. Meanwhile, this fireball is ranged, it does 15 damage. Sneak attack! Holy crap, I still got a sneak attack on that! Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna lead you back this way because I don't want. Uh, any of your buddies coming in to help? <laughs> a little confused there, buddy? I'm over here. In case you can't see, let's, uh, let's light things up for you a bit. Now, is- uh, is this, uh, just- Am I just doing really crap damage? Or is this, uh, just a really, uh, like, do zombies just have a lot of health? Or is this a case of my, uh... Well, I, I... Because my spells even are... Not doing a ton of damage. Now, how much is the fatigue playing into my, uh... My, uh, my arrow damage? Alright, well gather all all of our arrows back I mean I think I'm missing one arrow no wait wait I came into here what with like 100 I think it was 180 right it might have been 180 okay I think I hope it wasn't 160 because then I'm like man me hoping that I can like shed some excess weight off by just like shooting my arrows off like crazy that that approach might not be uh might not be a, a great approach <gasps> okay let's um Let's deal with this one. We're just zombie slaying today. Deranged zombies. Alright, lead you back out this way. Hmm. <laughs> I, I, I noticed that um, the health bar doesn't go down right away. It seems like you have to do a certain amount of damage before it really, like, you can kind of notice the, um, the damage is doing- now part of me is kind of curious how much, uh, damage these things do. Alright, so... Um... Yeah, they, they are- they, 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 uh... They hit... Okay, like that- that's through the shield. That did, uh... Yeah, through the shield they did, uh, uh... A decent amount of damage, I'd say. All right, let's uh, switch back to our arrows. <laughs> it just looks so ridiculous having all the uh, the arrows. You know what it reminds me of? Um, like it, 
totally not a, uh... I don't know, it's not even a relevant reference. Um, what was the name of that game? I remember playing back in the day, I played, uh, Dungeon Siege, that's what it was. And that game too also had a thing where you had like arrows sticking out of your character. Like to the point, I, I remember at one point I, I was taking fire from so many enemies. And like I had just crazy amounts of health. Like it was like, I was a, a lot more powerful than what I was fighting. And I remember there being so many arrows in my character. I was like, how is my body still intact? Like, I don't care that I have tons and tons of health. I should be cut in half with all the arrows that, that are just protruding through my body. And I kind of feel like we're kind of getting there a little bit with, uh... Wait, what was that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's going on? Rock wall? The wall won't shift. Oh, okay, um... Okay, so he's fighting. Oh, okay, okay, I guess there's a little bit more, um... A little bit more pressure? To get through this quickly? I'm like, uh, crap, if he's in there and he's having to fight zombies... Oh, it's, it's not you, okay. Alright, I guess we're... No! No, they got him, didn't they? Or is he still running? He might still be running. Oh no, oh, I gotta be careful. Oh wait, that's right! If he's vital, then he won't- he won't die. Yeah, there it is, he's unconscious. I mean, I kinda hate that actually. It takes some of the pressure off of me. <sighs> yeah, because I was like, oh, I gotta hurry up. I've gotta... I've gotta go help him. I'm gonna go save him. But then it's like, oh, he can't actually die. And like, all of a sudden now I'm just like, oh, yeah, okay, whatever. Darn it. Actually, that, that does bother me. I would have preferred being able to, uh, to fail the quest. Like, have two different outcomes. Like, oh. Uh, and it wouldn't be that hard to really do. It's just like... Oh, um, that's unfortunate. Blah, 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 died. Like, I guess if you wanted to go places with uh, your story or whatever, like, that's a little bit inconvenient, but, like, they're grouped up, so I kind of figured maybe I could get fire effects on multiple of them, but they're not close enough to really... Ah... Now, does the, um, does it just reset the effect when I, uh, hit them with, uh, when they, when they have to get the dots on them, when they get the damage over time? Does it just reset the, uh, the damage or does it stack a little bit? Okay, I want, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna drink a, um, restore fatigue. I want to see how, uh, how that impacts my, uh... My, um... Okay. I can just walk backwards. Oh, no, I can't. That... It's not restoring my fatigue as much as I was hoping it would. Maybe I need to drink more than one. There we go. Um, I can't tell, because it keeps switching the target. So I can't tell which one I'm really... Um, holy crap. I see why they gave me, um, a fireball. I think the, um, the radius should have been a little bit, uh, higher. Oh! The twang of the bow and the scraping arrow uh, fletchings are uh, quite familiar to you. As a new apprentice marksman, holding the bowstring with a knocked arrow no longer fatigues you. <gasps> awesome! I was just actually just thinking about that. I was like, oh man, like it, when I was, was restoring my fatigue, I'm like, it really doesn't do a whole lot because I'm actually losing fatigue by um, holding the arrow back. Okay, that's that's a nice change. 
I do like the um, those little perks. Now, um, I think I had read somewhere that Morwen had like a very subtle sort of thing to that. That might that that's unconfirmed. So I'm gonna say for all intents and purposes, it did not have any of those little things to them. But I really appreciate. Um, I don't like how it's handled with all of the skills. Like having some skills where it's like you just can't learn skills, um, certain spells until you're a certain rank. Like I get it. I don't love it. Um, but I do. Uh, I do like these little extra little perks. Like it makes makes that skill just a little bit more uh, effective or useful uh, by um, with with those little changes. Uh, all right, so I think I've killed all the zombies. Famous last words, right? <laughs> I think I've killed all the zombies. Well, I am definitely getting my marksman skill up. Uh, so wait. An apprentice? I think it was at what? Can't remember what I was at. 21, I think? So we're at, I'm guessing I'm at 25 now? Let me, uh, let me, let me double check that real quick. Um, Marksman, yep, 25. All right, there we go. We went ahead and we, uh, I, th I think now we have slain all of the zombies. Um, let's... N n now we can actually go through this, uh, this cave and, uh... Uh, let's find, uh, Urthor, talk to him and everything. And find out what he's been up to, you know, raising the dead. I, I wonder if he, um, he deliberately screwed up spells to get people to, to get, tell him to get lost so that he could come in the cave and practice necromancy. That's, that's what I'm guessing. I'm coming. <laughs> he's just standing there like... Boo. They're all gone? I can leave the cave? Oh, thank you. I'm ever so grateful. Maybe not. You're heading back to Skingrad, aren't you? Could I maybe come with you? It'd be safer, I think. So, what do you say? I mean, you're 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 invincible. You don't really don't need my help. You you've got plot armor, buddy. But okay, follow me. Oh, thank you. You're just too kind. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, we do have the follow me and wait here, which is, uh, which is great. Uh, we, uh, like, I haven't seen that since Morrowind. Um, let, let's talk to you right now. What can you tell me about the Mages Guild? The services provided at the Arcane University are just priceless. You can create your own enchantments there. Okay. Rumors? Necromancy may be legal in Cyrodiil. But few will openly admit to practicing it now that the Mages Guild has banned it. All right, well, uh, follow me. I'll be right behind you. I can't wait to be back in Skingrad, safe and sound. Now, I hope you don't mind. I, now, you're, you're, you're critical, you will not die, so that, that's fine. Um, so I want to go ahead and explore uh, the rest of this cave. Like, we are in a dungeon. I need to clear this dun this dungeon. And I do apologize, I've been mispronouncing it. The Dungyan, right. I do need to clear the Dungyan. I need to go to every wall of the whole place, make sure that it's all filled in on the map. That we have everything on the Dungyan revealed before we can leave. I, I've already I've already messed up once. We we I still have a, a note to go back and check on a goblin in a barrel. I can't. I, I can't, uh, I can't do that again. What have we got? Is this the rock? I'm like, there was, there was a rock near the beginning, right? That I couldn't, uh... Yeah. There's the lever. Dude, did you make this contraption? And this, is this our loot? For completing the dungeon? Like, there's the chest at the end of the dungeon. Here's your loot, 15 gold and dragon's tongue. Great, that won't replace the, the arrows I spend. Seriously, I guess it's a good thing I can regather my uh, things. Manual of spellcraft. I want to see Lord uh, Jorn uh, Jornabert's last dance. Oh, light armor skills increase. The skills do increase. 
Yay! Oh, it's a it's a it's a song. Cool. Uh, man, I've got to make one of those thumbnails. Uh, what have we got here? I guess those are your shoes. This is your little. This is like your. This is your room, right, buddy? You're like I, I've got to have my my merch. You're like I'm just picturing. He's, I'm just imagining he has like a, a like a boy band like poster up on his ceiling here. When he goes to bed, he just like, a little picture he kisses. He's got his little his body pillow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of making fun of you. I shouldn't. Um, actually, I'm not really. I'm just. I, just, I think. Whatever. Uh, chest. I guess that would be stealing from him, and he's standing right there. So I. I'll, darn it! I can't go into this chest while he's here, because he's literally staring at me the whole time. I wanted to see if he had any necromancy stuff in there. Actually, wait. Okay. Hey, buddy. Uh, come on up here. I'm gonna tell you to wait here. I hope we'll get to Skingrad soon. I've had enough of the wilderness for now. I bet. I could wait here. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, stay right I can't there. Wait to be back in Skingrad, safe and sound. I, I need to see what's in this chest. All right. All right. Let's play with the th this game. What the? Ha! Ah! You run out of lockpicks. I hate that game. <laughs> I mean, my security skill is, is garbage, though, right? It, it is garbage. It's 25. Okay, so yeah, all right. That, that, that's to be expected, I guess. Um, I will need to grab more uh, lockpicks. Yeah, you're coming. We'll you're, you're coming with me. Shut up. Follow me. I'll... All right, we're I gonna. Can't wait to be back in skin I bet. Uh, we're actually still not done the dungeon, right? There's still. Uh, I mean, I, okay. I, I saw the other side of. I think I saw the other side of that room. Uh, I got I got to double check. I'm not I'm not I'm not 100 sure. I'm pretty sure I saw the other side of it. Yeah, it's over here, right? All right, there we go. Now I'll run back out towards the entrance. Uh, there was one other sort of path to clear out this way here. All right, uh, I'm actually uh, way out of time, so woohoo! Athletics increased. Um. Chest. Oh, I already have a, a novice uh, alembic though, so I don't need to take that one. But if I didn't have one, that would be perfect. Uh, we're gonna have to end things here. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, I'm sorry. Leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. Uh, next time, we're gonna bring our friend back here to Skingrad, and um, we'll take it from there. But until that time, I would like to ask you all to game on.